Hi, I'm Greg Lavelle from Retirement Advisors at Financial Square. Throughout the years, you focused on accumulating savings within your retirement account. But after you retire, your focus should shift towards a withdrawal strategy that helps your income last as long as possible. And to that end, the IRS occasionally changes their withdrawal rules. Retirees should take note of these changes so that they can adjust their withdrawal strategy appropriately. While withdrawals can begin anytime after age 59 and a half, many retirees try to wait as long as possible to preserve their retirement account balances and allow them to grow some more. But once you reach age 72, you must begin taking required minimum withdrawals called RMDs. The RMD amount is determined by actuarial tables that are based on your life expectancy. And since lifespans do change according to data, the IRS sometimes updates those tables. This year, the IRS has issued changes to RMDs that allow for slightly smaller withdrawals. These rules affect the following types of accounts. Traditional IRAs, SEP IRAs, 401k plans, 403b plans, and 457 plans profit sharing plans, and other defined contribution plans. Do note that Roth IRAs are not subject to RMD rules. Thanks to smaller RMDs, retirees can keep more money in their retirement accounts if desired. So, those who are concerned about having retirement income to support a longer lifespan might wish to adjust their withdrawals downward. But before you make any changes to your withdrawal strategy, I urge you to meet with me. I can calculate your RMD accurately to avoid potential penalties for taking the wrong amounts. Let's discuss your strategy at our next meeting.